Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Threads of Fate, and... Okay, so now we're on our way to Gommel Forest. So, Mint Exclusive Area. And here's a weird little exchange that will show up all throughout this game. Pulsar Inferno Typhoon Omega. You know what, I would have loved it if instead of that... Like, it had a super long name, but, with, but its acronym was BOAT. Yeah, well, that's where Mint is saying, you know, it's too long, so, you know, let's call it Pinto for short. <laughs> so, yeah, this is gonna be a thing, like, all throughout, you know, the rest of this thing. Like, whenever she comes up to Ron, she's like, hey, I need to write your Pinto. He's like, don't call it Pinto! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I call this the, bu the beautiful, overly aggressive typhoon. Wait, boat? Honestly, I'll tell you call not... it. I'll tell you call it a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, like that sounds like one of those names. Like one of those names, like people like come up with with like Xbox gamer tags, like Assassin Ninja or shit like that. <laughs> X X X Smoke Assassin X X X. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! There was like oh fuck! I remember it was um uh, okay um. Uh, there's this guy, uh, John Graham, or, uh, as he, as he was known back in the day, Digital Fear. He made this one machine of a series. I forgot what it was called. But yeah, they made a joke about, like, dumb abbreviations. So, and it was, like, about this, like, uh, like, this box police force or something. And, uh, these two, I, I remember, like, the first episode, like, you see these two cops, and, like, uh, these are Spartan, uh, marine cops or whatever, trying to arrest this guy for downloading illegal music, but they treat it like a murder or something. And, and so they see the sus, so they see the guy, and they're like, Freeze! This is the Eradication Repulsive Evil Corruption Team! <laughs> Erect? <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, Mint. She's like, it's like, yeah, just keep driving! Yeah, keep piloting your baby. It's like, yeah, she's already eating the food. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, what am I, your chauffeur? She's like, you're ruining the moment. Just let me have this. <laughs> yeah, then she's, yeah, then she's like, hey, Rod, how about I trade you, you know, you can have my pumpkins and I'll take your meatballs. He's like, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> he's like, don't you take my food. <laughs> my meatballs. Oh, God. Speaking of, ac of acronyms, I remember. I just suddenly remembered the the, the, the funny ass acronym from um, Phineas and Ferb. It was like an evil organization. I, I for the life of me, I'm not gonna be able to remember the fucking um like the entire name of the organization. Just note that the acronym for it is Love Muffin. <laughs> I'll I'll let you use your imagination. That our Danny can just can just write on the screen what Love Muffin stands for. If it's even the right one, I believe it is. Let me double check that actually. Okay. Oh, God. And then there's simpler ones, you know, like, people order our patties. Oh, yeah. poop! <laughs> <laughs> I would like to order... What do you think he, the customer is going to order? A, a sofa, B, an expensive haircut, or C, a patty? One patty, please? Oh, poop, you never let us down! <laughs> Oh god, that was like the the most like bad shit insane episode just because it was just like it was so crazy, it was so different. It, like it wasn't even it was a fucking training video, and that's like one of the best video that's like one of the best episodes, if not the best episode SpongeBob had to offer. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> yes. Also, yes, it, it, it was Love Muff Love Muffin. And it stands for League of Villainous Evildoers Maniacally United for Frightening Investments in Naughtiness. Okay. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, so... Yep, so inspect all the items, and... Yeah, like that diary said, so we went to go... We went Boy. to go... Yeah, we went to this atelier, it's destroyed... And it turns out that the magician that had made the earrings, he had the idea, you know, oh, I know, how about, you know, to keep the earrings, you know, from falling into the wrong hands, I will go on ahead and put the... <laughs> wait, wait, did she just curse her out? Yes. Yeah, yeah, they actually censored her cursing. But it's like, um, 
But yeah, the uh, the magician's like, I have an idea, you know, to keep the earrings safe, I will hide them inside the Guardian. But then the Guardian went rogue and destroyed everything. Oops. So that's pretty much the whole idea behind this is, you know, we, we're we got to go through Gommel Forest to find the Guardian because that's where we're going to find the earrings. Oh god, you know what? Seeing that sensor kind of makes me... S seeing sensors in text form always... Unless they're, like, explicitly, like, made symbols or something. Like, seeing them like that always makes me think that they're actually saying that word as opposed to the, ac as opposed to the actual curse. Right. I think that's always so hilarious. Like, there's actually... In, um... In, in Digimon Cyber Sleuth, there's actually a joke made where, um... One of the characters is actually, like, cursing out another, another character. And, like, like the game, even though the game's in Japanese, it actually is bleeping bleeping out the word, the cuss words that he's saying. Yeah. Like, it's actually huh. bleeping him out. But then your character, as a response, one of the responses he can give is where he just, where he doesn't, like, he, where he repeats what he says, but he doesn't actually say the words. He, he literally goes, that's right, I'll beep your beep. Like, literally just says that. <laughs> wow. Like, he's not being censored, he's literally saying beep. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Uh, I can't wait to get- yeah. I can't wait to get the cyber sleuth before we gotta- we gotta finish Dusk and then- Well, no, actually, no, right after that, right, right after that. Probably in a, probably later down the road, we'll actually be doing Cyber Sleuth 1, and then we'll be doing Cy Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory, and I'll be really happy. <laughs> Anyway, um, grabby hands. Okay, so, um, the whole point of this boss is, uh, so Belle, she's pretty much staying on, uh, this, uh, robot. And the only way, you cannot damage the robot. No matter how hard you try, you cannot damage it. So, naturally, you gotta concentrate on Belle. And the only way that you can even reach her is, yeah, you gotta go on, yeah, go on the platforms and, you know, Either hit her with the magic or what I was trying to do before. I was trying to I was trying to see if I can jump kick her because you know that jump ki that jump kick is ridiculously strong, but I couldn't get there. So I said, "Yeah, fuck it. I'll just you know do what I'm supposed to do and use my magic." <laughs> just kick her oh, there. Oh, oh, there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that makes up for it. To ultimate weapon, my ass. As long as I can, as long as I can take out the stand user, then your then your hexagon means nothing. All right, and with so, that we and then that up. we now have green magic. Hey, which, my green uh, magic's gone. <laughs> the fuck? It's like, yep. So naturally, of course, the green magic is wind magic, which we will be abusing in the Gommel Forest because. Yeah, lots of uh, windmill puzzles. So you need the wind in order to move the windmill, so... There we go. Lots of kind of surprises, like, she she blows the windmill or whatever, and then the, the, the mill's blowing, like, so goddamn fast that it just blo blows him away. Yeah, it blow, blows her away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now... Now here's the thing about Gommel Forest. So it is full of these little uh, residents. Wait. The resi these residents will always be passive unless you hit them. Hold, hold wow. on. Hold on. You these are fucking Ewoks. <laughs> it's like, World yeah. domination. Yeah, it's like so these things, once you hit them, they will always come after you. More will come out of the hut and it never ends. So if you want a cheap way of being able to raise your magic, which remember, uh, the way to raise your magic is to just cast more magic. Simply just position yourself in front of a hut and just keep hitting, just keep hitting magic. These guys will never run out. And it's like, yeah, this is a really easy way to just build up your overall MP is to just abuse and just just slaughter hundreds of these Gommel Forest residents. Oh god, well, and, oh god. Well, I mean, if, if we learned anything from, from Frieza, genocide generally is the first step to world domination. God, Bitch really has gone over to the dark side. Right. Now, it's like, um... Now, uh... I will, I will suggest, if you, uh, if you can, try to build up your MP. I would say, you know... 
to, um, you need at least 120 MP to, uh, get an effect later on. This is a really good opportunity to do that. So, you can do that. So, Gumbo Forest, you've also got these railway puzzles. So, when you hit switches in these areas, they all take you to different parts of the forest. So, I will... Obviously, I'm going to show, you know, there is a clear path that you need to go in order to, you know, continue on. There is a treasure here that you can only get in Gommel Forest. A mint exclusive treasure. So, if you... So, if you remember, um, in, uh, Rue's playthrough, after... Yeah, after, um, after you go through Ghost Temple, I went back and I picked up a statue. And when you give the statue to Klaus, that gave you, like, a permanent upgrade, I think, to your... I think to your strength or something? I don't I don't remember. It's been a while. But, um... I cheated! But, yeah. Yeah, but once you do that, you know, it's a permanent upgrade. You know, there is a treasure here that will give you, you know, a nice little benefit that I would recommend, especially for mint. So, I will show, you know, how do you... How do you get that treasure? And it's really solely on which switches do you hit. So this whole this whole area could end up being like the easiest level in the game if you just ignored everyone. Eh, kind of. I mean, you know, like I said, you know, you can easily just go after these guys and just build up your MP and just, you know, play waste. Or you can just do that and just, just walk past them. They won't care. Like, they won't care that you've slaughtered hundreds before, just as long as you don't slaughter these guys now. <laughs> Lay waste to these filthy mortals. Yeah, there's like, you know, oh, good, okay, she's done. Okay, I, I guess we can let this stranger off the hook now. God, it's like, fucking, what's a good example of this? Where it's, um, you know, where an enemy will see you or detect you, chase after you. But then if you get too far, they're like, ah, fuck it, I don't want to deal with this right now. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's pretty much like every enemy you run into in Skyrim. Yeah, like yeah, any, yeah. any 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 open world game, really. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, I know, does that. <laughs> like, it's like you shoot an arrow at the sorcerer, you hide behind the rocks, the sorcerer, like, tries to look for you, until, and you wait it out. And then at one point, he's like, hmm, I guess it was just my imagination. Better get back to my post. Shoot another Metal arrow. Gear Solid Shoot another arrow Sly at him. God damn it! <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Sly Cooper. <laughs> that is also true, yes. You know, the games where generally the enemies that are around you are guards, and really, once they see you, should stop at nothing to catch you, but eventually they're just right. like, eh, fuck it. Like, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure he learned his lesson. Yeah, it's like a near automaton. <laughs> I'm sure I'll never it's see like him. These androids are slaughtering our robot brethren by the thousands. Oh, they're running off? Oh, okay, they must be bored. I'm not the only one who kind of finds it weird on how the platform is like, like it doesn't really, yeah. like even when it's when you're like, when it's like moving at an angle, it's almost looks like it almost looks like you're kind of drifting on the platform. It does, yeah, so yeah, it does feel circles? like we're That's going in like circles. You, you know, I assure you, we're not, but. You know, that is, that's, you know, the thing about Gommel Forest, it is very much maze-like, so... You know, like I said, it is entirely based on which switches you hit, and I'm trying to... Yeah, and... Yeah, it's like... <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like... The fuck? <gasps> but yeah, it's all based on the switches that you hit, and I'm trying to... I'm trying to get treasures and everything, so... <laughs> Fucking monkey! Like, monkey, you you knock me off the platform, I swear to God. Ah! <laughs> oh, shortcut! That was a shortcut! I cheated! Like, so now we're just oh. gonna kill more Ewoks. You, you know, you know, if, 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 oh, what was it? If that hut, like, continuously, like, spews out more of these Ewoks non-stop, how you wonder, how the hell did all those little guys fit in Yeah, it's hut? like a clown car. They're, they're secretly clowns. <laughs> I, I guess. 
That said, I can also see why they made them infinitely spawning as well. Even if you don't have the intention of grinding, as you see right there, you if you you need magic to right. solve these puzzles, and you have a problem if you run out of magic. So yeah. they need to give you enemies that can drop a lot of magic for you, just in case you need it. So more, more than likely that was the intent. Being able to grind, considering that you, that you need to use right. magic to gain magic, probably was an unintended side effect. Yeah. Whoa, 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 shit, 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 shit! Jago Fett, help! <laughs> Later, losers! <laughs> Suckers! Hey, wasn't that the same little girl that kept killing our our our, our tribe? No, no, I, I, you must be thinking about somebody else. Uh, okay. I'm sure there's lots of I'm sure, I'm sure there's lots of orange uh, orange haired pigtailed girls that carry chakram. But it fits the description perfectly. I, get that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe she has a sister. <laughs> Here's that. Yes, I do. And she's the one that so killed you'll your find kind. Her over at the uh, East Heaven <laughs> Kingdom. Oh god. <laughs> Suddenly Mint has her army. I, I, and they're infinitely spawning too, so shit. I, <laughs> That's a pretty good army. No, no, I'm not the little girl. I'm there we go, girl. there's I'm the treasure elephant. that I was looking for. We got oh. the brooch. This is Sonic Adventures. I'm over there. <laughs> Oh god! I like, that, I, I like that other idea more. Mitt using Mitt, Mitt recruiting these guys for, for her army to take back her kingdom. Like I said, they're or, infinitely or, or, spawning, so she, she can't lose. Yeah, yeah, just just hire these like just acquire all these Ewoks for world domination. You know, work for Star Wars. Hell yeah. Stupid guardian. Ugh. Uh. Nani? Oh shit! <laughs> Those are, that was my grind fest. <laughs> hey, you took my kill. Still, still, I didn't see your name on it. <laughs> it's like, oh go, here they come. Four of them! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Oh, and Mint, here's. Oh, oh god. See, I, when Mint made that swing, I thought for a sec she was gonna like, hit her off. No, you get off! No, you get off! As far as I'm like, not like pushing each other. Like, oh. We operate off Lenny Tunes <laughs> 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 yeah, I was about to say. Gravity doesn't exist until you until you until you realize it's there. Yes. <laughs> Ow! My back. How 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 did she fall on top of her? They fell at the same time. Is 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 Mint actually? Well, no, that doesn't, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Everything falls at the same pace. Looney Tune logic, I guess. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> no, Belle secretly has this. Ha has Princess Peach's floating ability with her dress, and she tried floating for well, a little, second. Well, let alone, how did Belle, falling on top of her from that height, how did that not kill you? Yeah. I mean, literally, all old Mick got out of that was a swollen ankle. That's like, damn. Ow. Fuck. Aw, she healed her. <laughs> this is the part where you guys make out. <laughs> oh my.
Well, it looks like we're the last surviving humans on the planet. Guess we better repopulate. Uh... That's a whale. <laughs> we must repopulate with the whale! <laughs> uh... I'm a firing my laser? Oh, God. Oh, no! It's inhaling her! I've been... Ooh. Oh, my. Well... <laughs> I will make out with her first! <laughs> God. <laughs> oh man. Oh well, God. Whoops. That's a blowhole. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So so here's the thing with uh with this boss. It's like yes, you have to attack. You have to attack the Sparkies. But whenever it inhales you, it will restore a little bit of that health. <laughs> the Ewoks are on my side too. Can you run away from from what it, from what it inhales? Um, I think maybe, but you gotta be like, you gotta be like ready. You gotta be like on the uh, clear other side of the platform. But it's clear you don't care. Yeah, and it's like it's it's not taking a lot of damage from me, and it's not dealing a lot of damage. So it's like, eh, whatever. Well, okay then. That was, in fact, a fight. Sushi. Hell, hell yeah. Whale sushi? Oh, fuck yeah. All right, earrings. Now I'm gonna look fabulous. I just look like the prettiest princess ever. <laughs> she just prat falls out of its mouth. Yeah. Oh, God. And <laughs> <laughs> she's like, that's it? Yeah, she's like, that's it? I'm done. Ugh. I'm all covered He's in like, whale just... guts. He's like, just leave me with the corpse. <laughs> does does Bill not have the TR on her? Uh, I guess not. They must have they must have it in safekeeping or something. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Actually, it was a whale. Whales aren't fish, they are mammals. <laughs> Who cares exactly? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's no wonder I smell something fishy in here. Mammaly? Wait, uh, whaley? I'm gonna whale on you in a moment there! <laughs> See what did I say? I was so gonna wail on you. Yep. So once again, you know, I know we brought this up in the last time when we were playing through with Rue, and I will say it again. It's that age, it's the age-old adage with the RPGs and shit that it's like, oh no, you're low on money, but it's money you can easily make by just killing a bunch of the shit in the forest. Yeah, oh, yeah I was like, I I'm, I'm sure you probably got some money from from, from, from killing those Ewoks you sniped yeah, earlier. Yeah, like you easily could have made that much money with the Ewoks alone. <laughs> Quit. Quick, quick, Duke. Let's go back up to the Ewoks and, and grind up some money by killing them all. I know, it's like, yeah, it's like, as a matter of fact, it's like, wait a minute. You have a hut that just infinitely spawns these fucking things. It's like, what do you need to go relic hunting for? Just start killing Ewoks. It's like, you'll be the richest motherfucker, and it's like, when people ask, what's your secret to success? Ewoks. How many Ewoks do you have to murder to accumulate as much money as selling a relic? The nation full of them! <laughs> <laughs> or one hut full of them, in this case. Hey, Axel. Oh, you know what? Actually, I probably, yep. I probably should mention at this point. At this point in time, I know I brought up to you guys that um, I was showing Kingdom Hearts off to Sophia. <laughs> she is now a diehard fan, <laughs> and she is in love with Axel. Yeah. 
Ah, I'm over there. <laughs> oh, he, he, he moved slightly to the left. <laughs> yeah, literally, that's all he did. He's like, oh, I'm just oh, gonna move I over here. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, easy there, buddy. <laughs> Feel like it. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, just because it says expletives, I'm gonna have to, like, just like, take a guess, like, what is it that he's actually saying? Like, I'll actually, like, put, like, a little, pu I'll put, like, a little word over it or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, th this is what he's actually saying. Sure. Like, for every, every expletive. Because <laughs> there was none to be found in Rue's story, but they, yeah, there's a fair amount of them here. Him kind of running off the way he did, just because he said he didn't feel like fighting right then, kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Because in that game, uh, Beerus is a playable character. And for those who don't know, Beerus is like the god of destruction. He's literally this, like... Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's like, yeah, well, Trapmaster said, hey, I left you a present. And it's a fucking pumpkin! Of course. Because of, because of course. And then Elena, dipshit that she is. What a big pumpkin. You have a knife? Let's make a jack-o'-lantern. I think it's already a jack-o'-lantern, actually. Yeah, it's, al it's well, already it's already one. The... <laughs> no, no, Elena just Elena just carves a new face into its back. <laughs> the, side, the side that doesn't have a face on it. Oh come on, it's been... Oh, but it's missing the candle inside. Stab. Ooh. Yeah, so two pumpkins. Not just one, two. Oh, God, they're multiplying. The oh, God. Get me out of here. Oh, God, like, well, that's one way to handle. Well, that's one way to handle it. Is like, well, yeah. What are you gonna do with all those pumpkins? I'll make a pie out of it. Well, anyway, like I was saying, so Beer is like it's supposed to be like the strongest character in like the entire universe in Dragon Ball Super, in Dragon Ball, and he's a play, he's a play, he's a playable character in Fighter Z. So because of that, obviously you have characters like Krillin or Tien fighting him, who shouldn't realistically be able to beat him. But I kind of find it funny because whenever he does lose a match, you know. You know, most characters, they make a scream or they, they yell like, I'll get you yet, or something like that. Beerus just goes, I don't feel like fighting anymore. Just drops down, falls asleep. <laughs> that's it. Oh <laughs> just God. takes a nap. <laughs> like, that's, what, that's what he does when he, when he runs out of health. He just takes a nap. <laughs> I don't feel like fighting anymore. Alright, so once again, say hello to Primadol, a.k.a. Hermie. So if you remember in Rue's story, you know, it's like, yeah, granted, you know, much of what this uh, this happens as well, where, you know, Primadol says something, and then, like, Mint, you know, Mint, Mint and Primadol do not get along, Primadol's very sarcastic towards her, and she just wants to kill him and everything, but then it's like, you know, he talks to Rue, and he's like, they're all chummy and everything, which... You know, makes a lot of sense considering that they're both dolls. But you know, now you're gonna see where what happens with the the relationship between Primadol and Mint because yeah, the, you know, he's still gonna be very sarcastic towards her. She's still gonna want to kill him and everything. So yeah, that you know, okay. So you've seen how Primadol and Rue, you know, react and act together and everything. So now you're gonna see. All right, this is what happens in Mint's story, and you know. How the hell do these two- how do you manage to get these two to get along? And now, if you also remember, so, Klaus with the, uh, Phantomite. Now, the Phantomite, if you remember, this is where we have to go to Raging Mountain, and we have to go to the dragon Wylaf, who has it. Now, in Rue's playthrough, you know, yeah, Mint's like, oh, I'm gonna get it, but as soon as Klaus mentions that it's a dragon, she- she just goes, fuck this shit, I'm out. But this time you know, around. That, yeah, this time around, however. <laughs> what? You serious? <laughs> I you serious? Yeah. Like, are you being super serious right now? Because, like... <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, there's a dangerous dragon guarding that area. But the jewels! The jewels! No, that's real history. Fuck. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah. I was hoping Another, it would be fake yeah. history. Fuck. Yeah. So basically, it's like, everyone's like, Oh, you're so brave, and I can't... You know, good luck, and... She's just pretty much pushed into a corner. She's like, Alright, fine, I'll go. You guys She's suck. Like, uh, you guys... Uh. <laughs> God damn it. Yep, so that's it. So, uh, yeah, that's how we rope Mint into going into Raging Mountain. Because <laughs> she was ready to back out, and then they're like, nope, they put her into a corner. Well, yeah, well. Uh, all right, so with that said, uh, join us next time, and we will continue on through Raging Mountain. All right. Okay. Okay.